Returning now to today's murder mystery. A husband found dead, his wife the main suspect. And police say the recipe for death sets this case apart from all the rest. Michelle Sagan is here now with more. Matt, Tammy Duvall says she came home to find her husband dead, but police don't buy it. And what they found in the kitchen may be the big break they're looking for. A healthy 62-year-old Alan Duvall is found dead in his backyard. And detectives in Columbus, Indiana are desperately searching for clues. This official police photo shows Alan slumped in a lawn chair on a hot August day. Initially, there were no signs of foul play, but police are stunned when they receive toxicology reports showing Alan died from consuming huge amounts of the muscle relaxant, cyclobenzaprine, and a powerful form of liquid morphine. Could it have been a suicide? Could it have been a homicide? Yes, either one. Forensics reveal there are no track marks on Alan's arms, and these police photos show there are no pill bottles next to his body. Cops don't believe he took the drugs himself. I knew at that point that we had a murder. Suspicion now centers on Alan's wife, Tammy. Tammy tried to get Alan's body cremated fast, less than 24 hours after his death. Then, the big break in the case. Tammy unwittingly gives cops her recipe for murder during this innocent conversation with police. You were already cooking dinner? Yeah, I made chicken salad and cut up fresh fruits and vegetables and had made this cool pudding dessert. Wait, did she say pudding? No, it couldn't be. Did Tammy Duvall plant the morphine and the pills in the pudding? So where's the morphine? Where'd the pill bottle go? I don't know. Okay, and you're gonna stick with that? Yes. But where in the world would Tammy get muscle relaxants and morphine? Plus, there were no drugs found in her house. I well, didn't clean up anything because there wasn't anything for me to clean up. So where did the morphine come from, Tammy? Where I did, don't know. Did, did the morphine fairy come in and put it in his mouth while he was sleeping? I don't know where the morphine came let, from. Let me. That turns out to be another lie. Remember, Tammy was a nurse's assistant. Detective Mark Cookton says Tammy stole the muscle relaxants from Alan's cousin, Zilla Thompson. I would say over 100, maybe 200 of them. And she lifted the morphine from the nursing home where she worked. The director of nursing tells me the last day she worked for us, uh, we were really concerned because we had a bottle of morphine sulfate turn up missing. Rhonda Brown, a nurse and one of the friends Tammy called before dialing 911, vividly remembers a conversation about drugs just weeks before the murder. She had brought over some pills in an unmarked bottle. And she said, do you think that if a person took enough of these pills, it would kill them? And I'm like, well, why are you planning on killing somebody? I just don't believe anybody's actually going to do that, you know? And Tammy emphatically denied she did do that. No, I did not kill my husband. Mm. Okay, well, what did happen? Because what you're telling me is not the truth. The truth, police say, is that Tammy poisoned her husband with a massive overdose of morphine and pills. And the proof was literally in the pudding. Tammy's signature dish was her poison pudding. But why would Tammy want Alan dead? Remember that insurance guy she was fooling around with? According to investigators, Tammy got him to write up a $100,000 life insurance policy on Alan. It was just one month before Alan died and Tammy was named the sole beneficiary. And right then I said, I hope Alan lives for a long time, but I don't think so. I told him, Alan, Nobody takes out $100,000 life insurance on anyone, especially when they're not living with them. There's something up. Obviously, Tammy was covering up something in hopes of getting this $100,000 insurance policy. Finally, three years after the death of her husband, Tammy was arrested and ultimately faced a trial on charges of murder, insurance fraud, and obstruction of justice. The jury convicted Tammy Duvall on all counts, and she was sentenced to prison for 60 years. She is a stone cold killer. Plain and simple, she killed her husband, a person who I feel truly loved her 
and all she could see was a $100,000 stamp on his forehead.